there guys welcome back to another epic inexorable maths video and we're going to look at what you call the polar form of a complex number as you can see polar form of a complex number this is the idea of polar form what if instead of representing this complex number in terms of its x and y coordinate i represented it in terms of the distance that i am from the origin from the number zero r and the angle that this line that I've just drawn is making with the positive real axis that I will call theta. Hopefully it makes sense to say r squared is x squared plus y squared because of Pythagoras theorem. It's a right angle triangle, r is the hypotenuse. That means that r is the square root of x squared plus y squared, like this. Cos of theta is x over r. And likewise, I can say that sine theta, I can say that it's y over r. x on its own is r cos theta, and y on its own is r sine theta. This is basic Pythagoras theorem and basic Sokotoa. So I can actually rewrite z as, again, x, which is r cos theta, so r cos theta plus y times i, r, and then I'm going to put the i here, sine theta. So I can write it as r, open bracket, cos theta plus i sine theta, like that, and then close the bracket. That is what you would call the polar form or the modulus argument form of the number x plus iy.